Oxford Instruments Plasma Lab System 100. Here's the load lock chamber for loading the vapor and process chamber. Process gases are sprayed through the upper electrode. Uh, and this is the gas, the, the vapor clamping mechanism. It's a quartz plate attached to the lifting mechanism. System operating system is Microsoft Windows NT and the time of boot up there's no password for the Windows NT and the application software that will run the system is PC2000 We have to enter the username, OPT, and all caps, password also OPT. The system should be in on mode before entering into this application software. So if the load lock chamber is empty, press OK, confirm it, and this is the initial screen of the machine. Uh, it indicates the mechanical pumps for the load lock chamber and the turbo molecular pump. And this is the main mechanical pump and the main turbo molecular pump for the process and the chamber area. So you have different screens here. This system, this is the pumping street screen. And in service mode, manually any valve can be opened and all the pumps can be turned on. And once you exit the service mode, the valves cannot be operated. In the process, under the process menu, we have recipe where you can select a recipe, for example, in manual mode with no wafer, you can load a, a process recipe from the already preloaded one, for example, organ edge. Once you load the recipe, the process steps up here. I have a four step process here. The pump down sequence. Uh, this is the screen where you set up the parameters like step time and uh, the APC, the automatic pressure control, pressure setting. And then uh, this screen also shows all the gas flow, mass flow controllers for the gas inlets and also the RF generator. In the first step, we don't select the power or the gases and the first step is to pump down the chamber to the desired vacuum level which is uh, set by the pressure setting here and in the second step which is you're enabling the gas valves and also setting up the, the flow rates for the mass flow controllers. And these indicate the mass flow controllers. And the set pressure is 100 millitor. And in the APC controller, you have uh, two ways of controlling 
the controller, either pressure mode or position of the valve mode. So currently it is set at pressure control mode. So the system, while the gas is sort of flowing, the pressure controller will control the throttle valve to maintain the process pressure, which is 110 millibar here. And in the third step, so I have the same pressures and gas flows and I have RF generators set up at a forward power 200 watts for testing purposes. And we have the final step where uh, helium gas can be used to be flowing the bottom side of the vapor to cool it down faster and this is the final step in this recipe. So on this screen uh, we can, after modification, you can save the program by changing its name you want to save the recipe as a different recipe program and you can load uh, from the list indicated the load recipe list or you can run the program when you want to run the, the recipe program So I'm going to load a 6 inch wafer into the chamber and so there these are the uh, positioning screws for a 6 inch wafer they ought to be here for a 8 inch wafer we have to relocate them at the corner and Once after loading the wafer, we have to close the chamber because it is interlocked from the chamber door is closed. The mechanical pumps won't stay on. Once the pumps are on, we can select the evacuate mode. You can enter a wafer name for the documentation purposes. So at this moment, the load lock chamber evacuation is going on. The, the turbo fall line back to the gate uh, valve is open and the turbo molecule pump is accelerating which is also indicated on the controller ACT200T I'm also starting chamber evacuation by clicking on the evacuate button currently the base pressure for this system is set at 2.5 the 10 to the minus 5 core. This is for demonstration purposes only. So while the chamber is evacuating, I would like to explain the other parts in the machine. Okay. Uh, here is the Alcatel ACT1300M turbo molecular pump controller for the main chamber turbo pump. Uh, right now, the amber LED indicates that the turbo pump is uh, accelerating. Uh, 
the adaptive pressure controller or the automatic pressure control for the chamber right, is here. And behind this door, this is the automatic matching network for the RF power control. Deliver maximum power to the electrode. The RF generator is uh, behind this panel, which is advanced energy RFX 600A model. On a day to day basis, uh, no entries are needed, uh, it's all controlled from the computer, the power levels. These are the lockout valve uh, to make it tamper proof. Uh, this is a pneumatic switch for emergency shutdown and this is the emergency shutdown to turn off the system. And the main turbo molecular pump is water cool. Also, the chamber valve, these walls are also temperature controlled. So, underneath the load lock chamber, we have the high vacuum sensor in the isolation valve between the load lock chamber and the main chamber. So underneath the main chamber, uh, this red jacket is the heater for the, the vacuum area. This column, if we heat it, uh, it will eliminate the outgassing of the walls. Uh, this is the baritone sensor for chamber process pressure monitoring. This is the matching network controller, the main turbo valve. And this is the four line valve for the main turbo pump, which is also heated. Here is the Small mechanical pump for the load lock chamber buffing. And this is the main pump for the main chamber and main turbo gassing. The mechanical pump of the pump in oil. And this is the RT 111 Nestle filler. And using this for cooling both the main turbo molecular pump and the automatic network. And this is the second chiller. Uh, this is for the process temperature control for the bottom electrode. Now uh, the set point is transmitted from the computer to the Eurotherm controller. The system is included with a 
filtering module to filter the pump and oil in the main mechanical pump. During the maintenance, uh, this, this can be turned on to filter the pump and oil. The load lock chamber is a lower 10 to the minus 4 tar range and the main chamber is a mid 5 range. So I'm going to start a, a recipe now. Uh, in auto mode. Right now, the wafer is being loaded. At this moment, the vapor from the load lock chamber is being loaded into the process chamber. So once it is loaded, the green dot moves from the chamber, load lock chamber to the chamber. It's just an indication. So this is the first step of the pump down and the timer is counting down. And the throttle valve is fully open. So it is pumping down to the base pressure levels. The turbo pump is continuously connected to a nitrogen perch which is on in order to protect the turbo walls from scaling. So that's why the base pressure should never be the lowest possible value. You can set it in upper 6 or lower 5 range. And that is normal for the reactive ion etching chambers. Right now the gas Valves are open and the mass flow controllers are indicating the gas flowing into the chamber. So once the pressure space is, is levels are reached, we can jump to the next level. It indicates the RF power forward power is 200 watts and the chamber is at this moment.
blowing with the plasma. So right now only organ gas is going into the chamber. So at this moment, uh, the gases are flowing into the chamber. This is the fourth step in the, in the recipe. The vapor is still on the chuck. And once the time, countdown timer is up, the vapor will be unloaded. This step is included only to pump down all the gases trapped in the chamber. So we can switch between the pumping screen to chamber screen. So at the end of the last step, now the gate valve opens, isolation valve opens, and the vapor is being unloaded to the load lock chamber again. It's time to unload the vapor from the load lock chamber. So to proceed, I first stop the evacuation and then click on vent. So the system goes through the built-in routine to, before venting the load lock chamber, it will purge the load lock chamber with nitrogen and then eventually vent it to atmospheric pressure. So at this moment, the load lock vent valve is open, indicated by the green color valve here. And the vent time left is timing down. Once it reaches to zero seconds, then it will be ready for opening the load lock door. It's a processed wafer now. It is 